George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. Unbelievers' baptisms. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. We've all got Baptist friends who've told us that we have to be baptized as believers. In fact, every time we believe, after a period of unbelief, we should be rebaptized again. Their proof text for this is, He who believes and is baptized shall be saved. Mark 16, he who does not believe stands condemned. Now, we in the Lutheran Church should have no problems with, with baptizing an adult who believes, or a child who believes. After all, that's what we've done in the church for a, as long as I can, re, as long as we can sort of record. Adults are catechized and then baptized, usually on Easter Vigil. But Lutherans also believe and confess an unbeliever's baptism. And by what I mean by that is that faith, which is born of the waters of holy baptism, saves us. It delivers Jesus to us. And so an unbelieving child, and who would keep a child from baptism? Let the little children come to me and hinder them not, for such belongs the kingdom of God, says Jesus. Uh, and Peter says, this gift is for you and your children. And and. And, and also, baptism now saves you, not the removal of dirt or commitment that you make to God, but the pledge of God to a clean conscience, clean, because it's been washed by Jesus. So an unbeliever's baptism is sort of like Matthew 28. Go and make disciples of all nations. It's not sort of like Matthew 28. It is exactly Matthew 28. Here's how disciples are made. Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to hold dear everything I've commanded, and lo, I am with you always to the very end of the age. So there in Matthew 28, disciples are made by baptizing them and teaching them the baptism first. And that's what we do with children. We baptize and teach. Now, this business is going to cause your Baptist friend to have a self-destruction in their brain because for them, the root problem is that baptism is something you do for God. It's a work that you do for God, and therefore, every time you, things go wrong with you, you need to be baptized again and recommit. But for Lutherans, we see baptism in a different way. We see baptism as delivering the suffering and death of Jesus. And so it's not a work that we do. It's a delivery of what works Jesus did for us on the cross. And so it, it saves, and it delivers faith, the very faith which trusts that word of God in the water is delivered in the waters of holy baptism. Now, Lutherans don't believe that like simply willy-nilly baptizing um, saves. Uh, that's not what the text says. We're commanded to baptize and to teach. And so the little children are raised after their baptism, being taught about the Jesus who came to them in the water. But what mustn't happen is some sort of conscience trouble that a baptism happened before faith, as if that is invalid, or that a rebaptism has to occur. Or a despising of baptism, as if baptism isn't a really big deal. He who believes and is baptized shall be saved. He who doesn't believe stands condemned does not mean don't get baptized. It means he who believes and is baptized shall be saved. If Jesus wanted you just simply to believe and not be baptized, he would have said, just believe, baby. No baptism. But instead, at the end of Mark, Mark 16, he says, he who believes that is baptized shall be saved. And unbelief damns. Not the lack of opportunity for baptism. So, if you've got children that have never been baptized or grandchildren that have never been baptized, baptize. Faith, which is born of the gifts, will save. And if you've got a kid that believes, baptize. And if you have an issue with the idea of something like an unbeliever's baptism, if you think I'm just sort of making stuff up, consider pious Naaman. Naaman, the unbeliever, has leprosy. He goes to the man of God desperate for a cure that no one in his country can provide. And the man of God, the prophet of God, Elijah, says, look, go and, uh, go and dunk yourself seven times in the Jordan River. And Naaman is mad. Why would I go and baptize my, dunk myself in the water of of the Jordan when the waters of my own country are just fine. But begrudgingly, 
in order desperate for a cure, he goes and bat, uh, goes and is dunked in the water. And sure enough, his water, his 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 flesh, is baby soft afterwards. No more leprosy. He was an unbeliever going into the water, just like our children, and he believed coming out of the water, just like our children. Because it's not our commitment to God that saves. It's Jesus' commitment to us. And it's not the act of the baptism that saves, but the delivery of Jesus to us. What he did for us on the cross is ours in the water. That's the baptism that saves. For believers, after they believe and are taught, for unbelievers, they're baptized and then taught. Either way, Jesus comes to them in the water. I'm Pastor George Barkard, and this has been another Higher Things video short.